it makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs> Um, but we drive on anyway guys Because the next headline is that There was um, The cops caught a guy from Deliveroo um, Above in Dublin So deals on wheels <laughs> Deals on wheels Gardaí catch a drug peddler in Dublin city centre um, So this was uh, Above in Dublin city centre Where the Gardaí um, I don't know Operating on a tip Maybe someone snitched on this guy Maybe the guy was fucking um, I don't, I don't know what gave the guy away, like, but uh, the Gardaí found close to 8,000 euro in uh, drugs, as well as over 2,500 in cash after searching a cyclist posing as a food delivery courier. Um, officers stopped the cyclist in Dublin city centre and searched their delivery bag to find a huge haul of drugs. The cyclist was arrested and Gardaí said that investigations are ongoing. And a Garda spokesperson said, end of the line for the food courier, there are no on the pot fines for this. Terrible. Come on, deals and wheels is way better. <laughs> As part of Operation Tara, the street crime unit based on Pear Street, Garda Station, stopped and searched the cyclist posing as the food uh, delivery courier. Um, they found cash and the dr- deals of cocaine and cannabis worth €7,950 uh, pending analysis, and the cyclist was arrested. Um, so again, you know, they, they, they caught one guy, do you know? And, and, and it's a great idea, but do you know what? That's going to happen now. It's going to be hundreds of them. There's going to be hundreds of them because this guy is gone now, right? He's after being taken out of the equation. But he, how long was he operating it for? Like, he's going to go back to the boys and say, look, lads, I was doing this for the last fucking year and a half. Like, I didn't get caught at all. I've, I've, I've got fucking 100 grand there stashed away. Um, and the boys think that they're doing this and they're taking my two, two or three grand off me. Um, do you know, Deliveroo dr- cyclists, drivers, whatever, like, they're incredibly underpaid, like, you know, and overworked, I suppose, in a sense. Um, but it, it's tough work that they do. And uh, is it any wonder then that they're going to be tempted to supplement their income? So, like, as I say, the, the cops took one, but now there's going to be many, many more replace this individual. And I'll put it out there, guys. Um, I, I used to be delivering pizzas for Donatello's um, in Mayfield. And uh, for about three, no, I, I was delivering for, with them for about four or five years. And uh, I was delivering cannabis all the time with my pizzas. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Like, it was a great cover because uh, you would arrive down at the checkpoints. The cop would see the delivery bags up in the, the seat. And uh, there was Donatello's. You'd be wearing the uniform as well, the, the T-shirt and stuff. And... Uh, they would just flag you through. Are oh, you working? No bother. Just check your tax and insurance there. But yeah, drive away on there. No bother at all. And and meanwhile, what I used to be doing is the um the the arch on the front windscreen. You know, between the driver's door and the front windscreen, there used to be like a panel you could pull back there, nice and easy. And you just bring like a uh, three fifty bags inside there. I'd have three fifty bags stashed in the panel. And if I sold one or two, I get a message. It's true. Uh, denied. Are you working, Martin? Yeah, I just put in an order there. Get my delivery and drop it down to me. Not a bother, boys. I'll be down there in half an hour. Drop it down. Have a smoke with the boys. Give them a bag and back to work again. <laughs> great old crack, like you know. But but it was uh, it was a great cover as well. And saying, and I, I got away with that for years. I was never uh, caught uh, delivering um, my cannabis at all. Um, when I used to be delivering it as a delivery driver. Now, in fairness, I did get caught at the Chinese with, with the 10 euros worth of cannabis, but I wasn't even dealing at that stage. The cops just fucking, I don't know, they just had it out for me that evening. Like, um, they thought they were going to find more than what they did, in fairness to them. Like, they, they thought I was actually getting heroin from the, the, the guys that were dealing heroin. Uh, apparently, I'd parked right outside of a heroin uh, dealer's house. Um, that time I got caught with the 10 euros worth of cannabis, but I had nothing to do with them. There was a shop next door to the fucking heroin dealer's house. Like, it's, <laughs> ah. But yeah, um, Gertie deals in wheels, drug dealer caught above in Dublin. Waste of fucking time. Imagine how much like money could be made like if, if this was a service actually being uh, provided to the city. You know, a guy peddling the drugs around like literally a drug peddler um but but a, a legal one at that like you know th- that would be somebody's job um they would be paying income tax on their their job they, they would be paying vat on the products they would be selling um <laughs> and they would be taking away work from criminal organized gangs you know organized criminal gangs um <laughs> why, why are we not doing this I, I just don't understand it and at the same time we would be helping the patients as well um, you know, it makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs>